Okay, so here we have the makings of my uh, new protein skimmer. What I've done is I've taken a, a, a normal BioBall filter. So this was an original BioBall filter, uh, the black tube, and it had a, a base at the bottom with a small outlet. I basically got someone to custom make the, the base. So put a new base on the bottom, that's the blue piece, and then take it out to 140 mil piping and 140 mil T-piece. Then inside the chamber, you'll see there's a grid. So that's about, gosh, 20 centimeters up from the bottom and possibly just about where that blue line uh, starts. So you're gonna have the water coming through the, the bio balls, dropping onto uh, water at the bottom, creating foam and then moving through the, the system. So I'll show you how I install this as we go. Right now, what I'm gonna do is paint the, uh, the structure just to make it look a bit uh, uh, neater and then we're going to start doing the, uh, the, actual, uh, the actual installation. Piping, uh, got some of the water flow going across the top, there's a tap in there. That pipe runs all the way along the end of the pond and up into a protein skimmer. So that is the beast, lid on the top, uh, water pumped through the top here, going through all the bioballs, down to a filter or a grid basically that's about 20 centimeters off the floor. Water flows through that pipe there. Foam comes out the top, flows through into the into the pond. That tap there gets adjusted according to the flow, so you can make it uh, flow more or less and uh, push out more foam or, uh, or less foam. So very simple. It took us most of the day to get this sucker in. Not too happy with the pipe work down the side. I need to make another plan there. It looks a bit ugly. But uh, yeah, that's my protein skimmer. Okay, and there we have the protein skimmer and it's uh, switched on. And within seconds, look at that. So I need to set up a, a structure here to basically lead this foam off, which you can see obviously working really, really well. Beautiful foam.